Hey everybody, my name is Matt and welcome to RoastyCoffee.com. Yes, water temperature for brewing is important. So what's the perfect temperature? It's actually 205 degrees Fahrenheit, 96 degrees Celsius. Yep, that's, that's it. Okay, so now you know the temperature. How do you achieve that temperature? Well, there's two ways to do it. If you have an electric kettle, then chances are you probably can manually type in 205 degrees Fahrenheit, 96 degrees Celsius, and get the perfect temperature. But if you don't, if you're using your stovetop, the best way to do it, it's not the most accurate way, but it's the best way, is to bring your water to a boil, then take it off the burner and wait about 30 seconds, and that should give you roughly 205 degrees Fahrenheit, 96 degrees Celsius. If you want to get accurate, but you don't have an electric kettle, you can use a thermometer. You can use a kitchen thermometer or you can use an infrared thermometer. I have both and I don't find them to be all too accurate. I think the best and most accurate way to reach 205 degrees Fahrenheit, 96 degrees Celsius is to actually get an electric kettle, whether it's gooseneck or not. But if you're going to get a kettle, you better make it a gooseneck kettle. I know this video is about water temperature, but I have to talk about water itself. In order to have the, pe the best water for brewing, get bottled water, get bottled spring water. It's really the best for brewing. But if you're not gonna do that, make sure that when you do brew, you filter the water. If you're gonna use tap water, I recommend getting some sort of Brita-like filter, or you can even, uh, what I use is my refrigerator has a built-in water filter, and I just use that. So there you have it. Water temperature, 205 degrees Fahrenheit, 96 degrees Celsius. Water should be bottled or britted or filtered in some way, shape, or form. If you have any questions, go to RoastyCoffee.com. That's it, guys, and enjoy. That's hotter than I thought. <clears throat>